Emma Stone was meant to break up with Andrew Garfield so she could meet Dave McCrary and live happily ever after. Today, we're looking at the differences between the Easy A actors' relationships. Stick with us till the end of the video to find out the juicy details. Did she really break up with Andrew because she didn't want to have kids? And why did she get so quiet after meeting Dave? Emma Stone's relationship with Andrew Garfield has its own corner of the internet. Hello, I'm Andrew Garfield. And I'm Emma Grome. Just say Stone, just say Stone. <laughs> From SNL skits and their signs for paparazzi, fans were obsessed with these two. Not to mention, they're Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy. But when it comes to Dave McCrary, Emma Stone is a whole different woman. Has anyone else noticed this new maturity Emma has? You can see it in how she sits and stands, how she laughs and smiles. After all, she is a wife and mother now. Back when M. Drew was a sailing ship, Emma had a different energy. Well, the whole relationship dynamics were different. When she was dating Andrew, the ex-couple traveled the world doing promo for the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Them being all lovey on camera definitely helped the Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy narrative. But with Dave, it's very different. Firstly, he isn't an actor. Dave is a comedian, writer, and director. When the lovebirds met, McCrary was directing Stone's SNL skit. We didn't even know they were dating until like a year later. It has always been my favorite show, and since I started hosting, it's also become just a huge part of my life. And I have made so many memories here, and so many friends, and I even met my husband at SNL. And this relationship's signature cuteness is definitely all the sports games and matching merch. We're sure their little girl has her own Padres merch, too. There's another kind of growth in Emma through these relationships. With Andrew, she was at the incline of a thriving acting career. The La La Land star was figuring out her craft and bagging awards. But now, Emma and her hubby have their own production company. It's called Fruit Tree, if you want to look it up. So far, they've produced When You Finish Saving the World and Problemista. Talk about a career level up. Another thing is that while Emma and Andrew had a kind of roller coaster romance, her relationship with Dave is much more stable and relaxed. If you remember, back in 2015, the Amazing Spider-Man co-stars announced they were on a break. Then they were hanging out again. Then they broke up. Then they were hanging out again, and we didn't know what would happen. Are, Are we happy? happy? Are we happy? Partly. In the end, they went their separate ways. However, with Dave, even if they did take a break, we would never have known. Although, from the looks of it, these two never took a break from each other. And with how steady they're going now, we're sure a breakup was never on the table. Here's the final difference, but how true it is depends on your beliefs. So Emma and Andrew still haven't said anything about why they broke up. And that's fair. We respect their privacy. Although, some rumors did make the rounds, and, um, we are rumor juice. So, some say that Stone and Garfield split because they weren't getting to spend much time together. When they did, the vibes were off. That's according to anonymous sources. Another also claimed Andrew was ready to settle down and grow their family. Emma, on the other hand, was super focused on her career. She didn't think it was the right time to have kids, so they went their separate ways. Peter, I can't live like this. Obviously, the case is very different with Dave. They started dating in, like, late 2016. By 2019, they were engaged and married a year later. Then, in 2021, they welcomed their daughter. We have a sneaking suspicion that, aside from the timing of Emma's life, this romance blossomed so brightly because it wasn't as highly publicized as with Andrew. I don't discuss any elements of my personal life in that way, so that's not a question that's on the table for me. Even after their breakup, every interviewer wanted to know about the co-stars. And back then, they felt they had to explain it to their fans. In a 2016 interview, Emma said Andrew is someone I still love very much after an interviewer asked about the vibes between them. I, uh, I love him very much, yeah. In contrast, Emma hardly says anything about her relationship with Dave. In fact, she'll tell an interviewer straight up that she doesn't want to talk about her marriage. Emma and Dave's work lives are separate, and so are their personal lives. Well, except for that one time at the 2024 Golden Globe Awards. In her acceptance speech, the Cruella star gave a quick shout out to her boo, saying, Dave, I have to start with you really quickly. I love you very much. Thank you for everything. How sweet is that? That's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be well and be kind.